And we're back with some more room world. After the last explosive encounter we had, we're still trying to repair the walls as rapidly as possible. I had to rip out some of the marble because we had no marble to replace it with and put in granite instead. And seriously, but guys, you're going to repair that stuff, but you're not going to repair the vitally important wall that's keeping us alive. Uh, at the same time, I put in that there, that door. That door seals this area off, so at least this uh, room is complete. Now, what do we do today? Well, today, very simple. We just got to wait two more days, and then this innocent prisoner debuff of minus 15 is going to wear off. <sighs> at which point, we will be able to leave the base and actually do something, because right now we've got to keep everyone close to home. And we can't leave the base, we're going straight over here with some smoke launchers and some grenades, and we're going to clear this out. Once this is cleared, we can finally start disposing of the bunch of this wealth we've accumulated. Namely, all of those guns. That? That is too many guns. Our wealth is way too high. That stuff all has to go. Oh, look, a prisoner went berserk. Yeah, happens a lot. Hold on, we'll get some people in there. This is pretty much just par for the course. Yeah, they can sleep off their problems. Um, at the same time, we have built in these three nutrient paste dispensers to cut down on labor because honestly, we just could not afford to keep the prisoners going. Oh, James's resistance has been broken by Pika. Recruitment attempts will begin. Yes. Soon, hopefully we can get new colonists. We didn't get a single colonist in the last episode, namely because we were just scrambling. Uh, we have Paul's works on... Yeah, there's an infection. Connor's got one. Uh, who's Connor? I think Connor might be a new person. There was actually a couple of pawns that survived this. Uh, there was one female and about five males or two. Yeah, one female and five males. I took the female in and I'm like, you know what, I'll take in the males. But by then, like, by the time I decided on the males, only two of them were still left alive. One of them had an infection, but it seemed minor. They'll probably survive. Maybe. With the nutrient paste dispensers installed, we actually have a little bit more time to get things done. And we have a new recruit. Uh, also, a bunch of people went berserk. There was some cargo pods. There was a trailer. There was a bunch of random stuff. Say hello to our newest recruit, Ransom Blind, or Ransom the Blind, but I couldn't fit in Ransom the Blind. There's a character limit on this thing, so if you try and go beyond a certain amount, like that's exactly how many characters you can fit in right there. So, Ransom the Blind, careful shooter, fast walker, good at cooking, mining, artistic, and social. I think we're going to put him straight into cooking, considering that our, our food needs to be... We want to be able to cook as many fine meals as possible to speed up prisoner recruitment, higher morale, easier to recruit the prisoners. So I think we put them straight into cooking, give them a... Mm, what else? Secondary and mining, though, I don't see them really getting a chance to do much of that. They'll be spending most of their life just cooking. Careful shooter is actually more of a negative than a positive. It just means they're... It's good early on, but later on as their shooting goes up, it gets worse and worse. Fast walker, always a good one. Not quite as good as jogger, but decent. They will be quite useful for now. Anyway, I might want to put in another cooking station. Actually, three's enough. Three's enough. Well, we've got some people on an alternate schedule, so it should work out fine. All right, let's skip this forward, and hopefully in a couple of days, we can finally break out of our little colony. We managed to pick up an inspired recruitment for Zachary Zeno, uh, our number 18th colonist, and we used it to recruit, well, the hardest to recruit colonist we had, which turned out to be one of our newest ones. Uh, you can tell they're the newest ones because they're still recovering from <laughs> infections they got. I think this was actually from the last raid by Emily's Axes. Actually, could you rename sides in this? I would really like to rename Emily's Axes to something slightly more appropriate. But uh, never mind. So let's uh, let's see what Connor's skills and abilities are like. Please welcome to the team number twenty-four, Scott Wilhelm. Well, Scott M. Wil William Wilhelm's, but it, it wouldn't fit, you know. So that's what we're ending up with. So Scott Wilhelm, welcome to the team. We're going with social here is very strong, so we'll use them for recruitment because well, more recruits the better. And intellectual will probably use the intellectual for the scanners. We want to run the scanners. Uh, at the same time, we're also going through a solar flare, so. Yeah, I've uh, basically restricted access to the fridge from multiple sides, but I don't think it's really making a difference. It's already 11 degrees in there. Let's hope none of these animals go off. What's the, what are that? 2.4, 2.4, 2.3? I think, I think we'll be fine, so long as the power comes back reasonably soon. Now, who was on a mental break? Someone was chucking insults at Ortec. Uh, I think it was... Oh, yeah, it was Jason. I think Jason just recovered, did he? Hey, Jason's better. Ortec, on the other hand, will probably be a little bit irritable for a couple of days. <laughs> Yeah, insulted a couple of times. Yeah, it'll wear off. It'll wear off. Oh, I think I think all our other negatives have worn off, have they? Innocent prisoners died by two. Okay, one more hour and all the innocent prisoner stuff will wear off. Oh, finally. Research is finished on fabrication. We've actually been working on that for... I, God knows how long. We just kept getting distracted by constant raids. That's what you get for accepting all those quests. Um, okay, so fabrication will allow us to make components. Advanced fabrication should allow us to make advanced components. I think that's... Yeah, we sort of have to go that way. 
that gives us all the things we can need to hammer out the lower end stuff. For example, now we can start mass producing all these other things we would like, like specialized limbs and things like that. In fact, we do have a couple of component seams out there we should really go get. Okay, no, no. First thing we're going to do, we're going to clear all these uh, mechanoids down here. Then, then we're going to send out a trade caravan. Then we're going to claim those components. Now starts our slow inching quest to destroy all of this. Instead of using brute force or mortars, we're just going to use a smoke gun and uh, some grenades. So with a smoke gun and grenades, we can run forward. They can't shoot at us because we're in smoke. And then the moment we get forward a bit, we chuck down some more smoke. And we creep forward back, creep forward this way quite a bit until we get in range to fire grenades. All right, that wasn't... That wasn't nearly as painful as it was thought it was going to be, and we have three unstable power cells we can claim. Also, yep, components, we'll take those. In fact, I think there's a bunch of components around here. Most of them might have degraded. Okay, some components, a whole bunch of... Pla oh, wow. Yeah, we'll take that too. And can we... Yeah, we can deconstruct a whole bunch of these for more resources as well, so why not? All right. I need to figure out a place for those unstable power cells, though. You can't leave them lying around the place. The blast radius on them is enormous. I think we build them into a honeycomb so they're more stable. Ooh, nice. There's actually some components in these things. That one just chucked us out three components? Hell yeah. I should be more delicate with these in the picture. Oh, Slutman's about to have a mental break. Why? What was... Oh, rotten corpses everywhere. Yeah, well, we just didn't have time to get out here and clean the place up. I'm sorry, okay? You'll be fine. Just uh, go wander or go into your room or whatever. We'll uh, take the, these though, the unstable power cells. We're going to hold those back for now. I have a plan about where to put them, but uh, it's not actually built yet. So we'll just put them in storage. They can't explode when they're like this. Even if they get hit with stuff, they can't explode when they're undeployed. They can only explode when they are deployed, which is nice to know. Yeah, what are you doing? Ooh, no, you know what? I don't want you eating out here. You'll, you won't get a nice mood buff. So why don't you hold that back to base and then do it? And uh, actually, yeah, let's get all the components hold as well. All right. Time to expand our base outwards. I'm thinking we should maybe expand these walls, though we don't have enough marble just yet, do we? Most of our people are so busy doing prisoner-related things, we just haven't got around to doing any marble blocks in a long time. A couple of other things I've been putting on the long finger is the caravan leaves in the morning, and the next thing is I want to try and improve our chances of getting an infestation. This is not causing infestations. We had a chair there. It did nothing. We also claimed the steel column, and there is overhead mountain there, but this one does not seem to be working. We're going to try a different mountain. This one over here, there should be more space in it. So we're going to drill a hole in, put in a couple of wall segments around it, and hopefully get an infestation there. The reason we want infestations is great for chem fuel and great for money. You get so much insect jelly. Well, that's the plan. Let's hope that can increase our chances because we should have had an in insect infestation by now. We have had zero since the start of the game. And, you know, Randy should have thrown one at us. The only one we've got was a quest related one, though. That doesn't count. And it's time for our next prison break. But that's fine, we have animals, and we have people inbound. It's going to be this one down here, which I think has about three people. Uh, you should probably get down there uh, and melee attack that one. We've got some people over here. You know what? Just shoot in. We don't really care too much about us. These are some of our tougher to recruit prisoners, so no point being gentle. Uh, you guys can get down here, and we can start uh, working on these ones. These ones, there's not so many, so it should be a little bit easier. Unfortunately, we lost another prisoner. They died due to, well, blood loss or something. Who cares? But it did remind me of something. Where is it? If you check here, you can see this This prisoner is considered guilty. This expires in 20 hours. Guilty means you can basically get rid of them and the colonists don't mind. After the 20 hours expire and they just become, well, regular prisoners, that goes away. And if they do die, you will get that debuff for having a dead prisoner on your hands. Just something to be aware of. To get this caravan loaded up with all the chunk. I mean, we're just... There's so many just random weapons lying around the place. It would take longer to scrap them than it would to trade them away. So we're just going to dump them all onto caravan animals. We're going to go to our local allies. Or actually, they're not our allies yet. And we're going to trade away so much resources that hopefully they will ally with us. The plan is, is that once we have an ally, then we can call in trade caravans. So just say there's a massive attack. There's loads of guns lying all over the place and random gunk on the ground. We call in a trade caravan. They arrive two, three days later. Then we sit... Uh, basically sell off all the gunk on the ground. We don't even have to bring it into storage, we don't have to carry it around the place, we don't have to scrap it. We could just turn it into money. Not a lot of money, but enough that it's worthwhile. The only reason we can't do that just yet is because our faction relations are not high enough. We're just neutral with everyone. We need to get people up to allied status, allied status before 
we can call them in via the comms console. In 1.7 days, we can hopefully get rid of a whole bunch of junk. Now, we did bring along a doomsday with us in case we run into anything nasty on the road. It's unlikely with a caravan that of this wealth that we didn't encounter anything too dangerous, but better safe than dead. All right, let's say... Uh, Oh my god, how much potatoes do we have? Uh, I don't think we can count up all the potatoes we co currently own because the game sort of doesn't allow us to. Okay, we're, we've got 7,000 there, plus we got another... How many over here? Yeah, there's another 3,600 over here. I need to think we need more and to build a second fridge. And there we have another recruit. Say hello to our newest recruit. It will be number 24. Oh wait, 25. Desky. So Desky here is going to be a super immune volatile pawn. Always great. But they have construction. You know what? Anyone who's got construction, they're more than welcome. Any health conditions? No. Rocks all day. Construction primarily. Secondary will be actually smashing rocks just so that there's more rocks for construction. We're a little bit short on rocks at the moment. Uh, despite having all these people, all of them have tasks assigned to them and they're still all not getting done. I think it's just because of the sheer size of the base and the amount of prisoners we're dealing with. But soon... Soon we'll, we'll be better off. It's just a case of the amount of times we have to go over and talk to these every day is really frustrating. We are just swimming in the recruits today. Newest one is going to be pseudonym here. Well, couldn't fit the whole thing in, so that's what you get. Oh, and that should be a capital letter. If it just doesn't start with one, it just feels wrong. And this one, burning passion in plants, animals, and artistic. I think though we got to go with artistic. We need more and more statues constantly. So I'm thinking we have them take over statue production just because their burning passion will, will result in them being an amazing passion, er, well, being an amazing artist after a while when it comes to the statues. As it is, we're getting some exit ones out now, which has been really good, but I'd really like to continue that trend and have as many exit statues as possible. After selling our usual assortment of junk, we've managed to pick up an insanity lance and a doomsday rocket launcher at this location. Yes, for the first time in this is the first time we've actually found a place that sells doomsdays. Normally we've had to just, you know, pry them from the cold dead hands of someone we've encountered. Now, I did bring a bunch of junk I shouldn't have with me, and that is namely biocoded stuff. That can, yeah, that, that can all go, the whole lot of it. We're going to have to do a second run as well. There's, there's a f far more junk back at base we need to get rid of. Also, there's a whole bunch of pants and shirts we've made. I, I think we can get rid of some of those as well. At the rate we're making them, we should be fine for replacement. The plan here is to, oh, God damn it, this events. These things are not actually that bad. I think that one did nothing. Um, the plan here is to use our crafters to make a whole bunch of shirts and pants just to keep everyone up. And then a whole bunch of dusters as well out of heavy fur and rhino fur if we can get our hands on it. Uh, at the same time, we should really start culling some more of the map. Every so often we just do a big smash and kill everything on the map that's worth anything. Oh, yeah, those can all go. That's probably one of the things that's also slowing down our expansion because people are too busy hunting instead of, you know, smashing rocks or doing all the other stuff they should be doing. Pika has finally arrived back home and it's time we did something I should have done a while ago. Well, no, we just got this room finished so we can now accept the new Silent level for this knight title that Pika can get. Of course, we're not going to accept it. We're going to heat stroke them out until they pass out from, from uh, the heat. Uh, that's a redundant one, isn't it? We're going we're gonna to turn up the temperature, basically. Eventually, they'll pass out, and then we'll nick their side level links. Uh, at the same time... Actually, you know, I'll cover that in a minute. We're going to have Lee come over here and... Start a little bit of a fire. Oh, actually, wait a minute. What's the... Ah, oh, yeah, it's impressiveness. Is it? You just you got to be careful here about messing with the impressiveness of the room. If you mess it up below the requirements, which I think for this is 60, then what will happen is... Oh, and we'll make sure that door can close. What will happen is they'll... Uh, Oh, wait, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh, yeah, so the fire's still raging. That's up to 20C. Hmm. It should really be getting hotter right about now, shouldn't it? What the? How is that? Chem fuel puddle? How is there a chem fuel puddle? You know what? Never mind. Oh, that must be from the actual weapon itself. That's what causes the fire. That would make sense. All right, temperature in there is 30C already. Why is it not getting hotter? Did we not put a roof on this? There is most definitely a roof. Okay, maybe it takes a minute. Uh, I was advised that this is a more efficient way of heat stroking them out because you can just turn it on and then walk away. Seems to be working. Okay. All right, this is too bad, actually. What's the temperature inside? 13C. Eh. Well, we'll give that a go. If it doesn't work, we can always send someone over with a Molotov and speed things along. Please tell me you have some health conditions that'll make you fall over faster. Ah, uh, no, unfortunately not. Oh, and you observe some rotting corpses on the way in. Well, yeah, that's just the kind of colony we run. 
Hey guys, is it starting to feel hot in here or is it just me? Looks like another quest has shown up while we're waiting. This one is a little bit of extra help. Really? She's asking for 16 colonists for 28 days. 16? We only have 26 colonists. That's... that's ridiculous. You want to keep them for 28 days? Like, that's that's half a year for, you know, over half the colony. That's, um, no. Just, uh, go... You know, that, we're not even going to think about that one. Don't get me wrong, I'd love another Silent Neuroformer, but... No, that would be, uh, death. Yeah, death is, is, is how I'd like to describe that one. Uh, temperature in here is currently quite, uh, toasty. Everyone in here is enjoying the roaring fire. Uh, heat stroke is up to... Come on, give me 30. 30%. And this wood should hopefully last just a little bit longer. If it does not last the full length of time, we can always get some Molotovs. Damn, Desky. Look at you go. Ooh, 57%. That does not feel like you should really be in there. That feels like... That feels bad. Okay, come on, just just fall over already. 60? I thought it was 60. Uh, two of them down. Yep, three of them. Four of them. <laughs> okay, nice look. Will you make it to the door? You're at 61%. Everyone else, once they hit 62, dropped. Come on, come on. Oh, you almost made the door. Right, right. Uh, let me grab some people so that we can start picking them out. We're going to put it, put this out, and then we're going to rescue them, put them into these beds. Uh, these are no longer medical. Yeah, uh, that's... Yep, let's remove you from medical. We'll stick them in here. These are medical beds, so we should be able to take all seven of them, dump them in there, and then we'll delete the beds once they're, you know, no longer heat-stroked. So if we've done this right, you know what? Let's uh, leave that door open for now. The fire should get put out. Everyone should get rescued. No one should die. Where... Where is everyone? Never mind, I hadn't got these set to medical. I'd got them set into prisoner, because I'm an idiot. And where are you guys bringing them? What? No! Those are medical beds right there. Oh, they're prisoner at medical beds. Uh, why do I seem to have a blind spot for this recently? Okay, there we go. The rest of you put them into beds over there. How are they doing? Yeah, could, could you get back there and grab them real quick before they, they die? That would be really nice of you. And then, once we've got them in bed, we'll then... Wait until they're recovered, and then kick them out. Seriously, guys, there's, there's one guy right there. Who's supposed to be on that? Rescue that guy before he dies, please. 91%. Just saying, you're cutting it close, guys. Cutting it close. Whew. Right. That gives us four Silent Neuroformers. Ortec, I know you have been waiting a long time for this. You have two levels, so this will max you out. Upgrade to level three, four, five, and six. Thank you kindly. Uh, also, damn, they're behind some guns. Right, uh, we don't really need the guns, to be honest, but we'll pick them all up anyway. Question is, what kind of skills do they get? Uh, next up is Vertigo Pulse. Always useful. Word of Serenity. Good for knocking people out of mental breaks. Invisibility. Well, we have two of those on hand, but you know what? Invisibility is always good. And Berserk Pulse. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. That will be incredibly useless for us. Useful for us. The only downside to Ortec is they can't hold a weapon. For example, you can try and... Yep, yeah, can't. They're incapable of violence, so they can't even hold a staff. Even though we just want the staff for its bonuses to your psi focus, yeah, they, they won't let us do that, unfortunately. Oh, well. Uh, Security-wise, we're going to put in a couple more barricades. You know, we, we might as well get this pre place prepped for the next time they show up. That went perfectly. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Pika Mula's night ceremony has come up again. Pretty much instantly. That's um, that's unusual. It normally takes a little bit longer than that, but it's been only a tiny amount of time, and we've got another chance to get more silent neuroformers. And I can't really turn that down. We sort of need it to survive, I think, at this stage. If we don't get some sort of scythe powers, we will be dead, and we didn't hire enough tribals to really uh, milk the tree properly. Hmm. But it does feel kind of wrong to be doing it too much, so we should probably limit it in somehow. Uh, one thing, actually, where is our colonists? Give me traits. Okay. Yeah, we do have two psychically hypersensitive, Ortec and Alex. So I figure we might maybe give it to one of your psychically sensitive or psychically hypersensitive people. Or maybe just a percentage of the people can get it. Something like that. I'd prefer to keep a few very powerful wizards as opposed well, whatever you call them, technomages, whatever whatever Tynan wants to call them, we can call them that. But yeah, that might actually work. Just a few, four or five would be necessary to sort of survive, especially at this stage of the game, or with this set of threat level. But I think it's time to uh, call them in again. Yeah, uh, 
come on down. I suppose, why not? You could park beside the other ship that's there. It's not suspicious at all. Wait, have they landed? Oh, yep, yeah, there they are. Perfect. Uh, let's, uh, let's warm up the oven, I suppose. Well, that should get the place nice and warm. We'll close the doors so that the heat can't escape. And what are you doing, actually? Get in there and haul out the go juice. Perfect. Okay, this is going to be four more Silent Neuroformers, which honestly feels a little bit wrong, but, you know, that's what we're going for. Oh, they passed out pretty quick there. How many of them? Oh, one well, of them's about to make it off. Uh, hold on while we grab a bunch of people to collect these. This time we're going to try and do it just a little bit faster. There we go. Come on, grab them, put them out there. And rescue, 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 and rescue. Done. Okay, who's gone berserk now? How many prisoners have we had to beat up? Uh, I think Paige is still recovering from the last beatdown they got. So, should we send someone in to help? Yeah, we probably should. Hey guys, get in there and beat another prisoner to unconscious. It's been, uh, there's been a lot of prisoner beatings, and I know that sounds bad, it's just, it's the way things have been going. Actually, I think I'll let everyone attend the party while it's happening. Yeah, a nice mood boost right now would be really good. Uh, did you beat that person unconscious? Yeah, good job. Uh, maybe one of you rescue them. What's their health at? You know what? They, they can wait until after the party's over. It's nice to see the whole team get together. Dear Lord, how many's in there? 25 humans. They're actually all partying together. 26. Full house. I'm surprised there's no fights. There we go. Otherwise, it would have been a dull affair. All right, uh... Shuttle has arrived. Where is it? A shuttle has arrived for a tank. Where is it? There. God, there's shuttles everywhere. Hey! Stop messing up my fields! You monsters! All right, we just got to get tank into the shuttle, and once tank is loaded, that quest is complete. Now, who are we going to get to do that? Uh, Pika, well, you're the one... No, party's not over yet? Seriously? Okay, there we go. Party's over? Yeah, party attended. Perfect. Uh, you should take tank, and you should be able to prioritize... No. Are they doing food for tank? Strip tank? How do we move them? Okay, we just uh, changed this to auto load and then I got the Schweitzer to come down and pick them up. We're going to load tank up and get them out of here. Uh, at the same time, let's strip this stuff out of here and get our next person silenced up. Here comes Alex now to claim their silence. Let's see what they get. We got stun, neural heat dump, chaos skip, and smoke pop. Uh, I suppose neural heat dump could come in handy later if they... Mm, and smoke pop is... Uh, smoke pop has its uses. Okay, perfect. Let's uh, get this thing warmed up again. I think we're going to need this again in a minute. Before we can even get this finished, it's time for another prison break. <laughs> I have so many of these. Oh, yeah, I really got to spit out the prisons or do something about it. Uh, we're going to have Ortec invisibilize themselves. Uh, we're going to have these two come down to help out. Anyone else about... You know what? You two can also pop over just in case things get out of hand. Things will probably get out of hand. Okay, Ortec has invisibilized himself because I'm not putting them at risk. Everyone else, run, run, run. Perfection. Now, maybe don't shoot in there just yet. You can still clip... What the... You can still clip Ortec on the way out. Even when they're invisible, you can still get shot by splash damage or weapons in the general vicinity. Ooh, Pika. Nope, nope, nope. Back out there, Pika. Come on. Oh, what's that? Oh, I didn't mean to send in one of our Labradors. I picked up a, some Labradors from a bulk goods trader a while, while back. I was hoping to train them up and uh, make ourselves a little posse of them. Mm, one second, how did you end up in there? This should be, hopefully, fairly painless. Uh, are they about to beat down the door or something? Um, everyone else, you know what, you can all go back to work. We've got two people on each door and plenty of animals. I think we'll be fine. The Schweitzer! Stop shooting people for the love of... Oh, feeding fine meal to Ironhead. Yeah, I can see why you want to get in. Uh, well, well, baby, Ligi's just over there for the time being. Actually, we'll put you on flea. If you just go flea, you'll stop trying to attack everyone the moment you see them. There you go. Run away, run away. Hey, right. dog, come on, get out of there. Quick, I, I sent the dog to go to another area. If they kill that dog, I'm afraid whoever pulls the trigger is going to end up dying. That's just the way it is. Come on, Labrador, get out of there. Was that good? I think good did that. Good. Yep, yep. You just punched down my dog. We're gonna have to give you a beat down for that one. I'm sorry, even though you're like, what, 9.8 resistance? Still gonna have to whoop you. Yeah. 
Doom, doom, doom. Is that good? Nope, nope. Well, where is he? Where are you good? Checking back through the footage, it was actually Baudelaire that landed the last blow on the dog. The dog eventually succumbed to its wounds, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Baudelaire didn't survive either. For some strange reason, he succumbed to his wounds also afterwards. Things happen. Anyway. No, he wasn't. He died of his wounds. Probably. And yes, and because they were involved in a prison break, their death will not be mourned. Thank you. Now, uh, we'll let everyone get back to work and we should probably move in someone here who's to be recruited next. While we're waiting for this mess to get tidied up, it's time to launch off this shuttle, which... Yeah, this is where things get really abusive. Now that we've got a uh, tank in there and we send them off, we now have a quest available for a Praetor ceremony. By completing the quest for the needy prisoner, we got a bunch of honor, which means Pika is now a higher level, which means Pika can now call in another quest. Yeah, we, we can't really do that very often, but, you know, um, to accept this quest, you need to throw in to satisfy the requirements. Oh, we're missing two columns. Never mind, we can add in two more columns. No problems. There we go. Doesn't look quite right, but I'll leave it that way. Well, there was some complications after that prison break. While we were in the middle of dealing with that prison break, uh, where is it? Uh, and the death of the Labrador. Shortly after that, I didn't notice that Mohayim got an inspired recruitment. Uh, so, yeah, then they just used it at random on one of our prisoners, and now Ash has joined us. Well, their main name will change in a moment. But I probably wouldn't have picked someone with massive smoke leap dependency. That would have been a no-no. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be a little bit use useless for a while. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that, because it turns out they have chemical fascination, which means we'll never be able to stop them from, from tucking into the smoke leaf. They're an undergrounder, which is great. We'll probably put them on something intellectual, because... Yeah, we've got plenty of plants, cooking, mining... Ooh, constructor? Ooh, we could use another constructor. Though then again, they're going to be baked all the time. No, intellectual. We'll stick them onto intellectual because they'll, they have a burning passion for it. They'll sort it out. Uh, so please say hello to our newest recruit, Eric T. Lund, number 27. Yes, so Eric T. Lund is our 27 columns. I think that's five in this episode, five new ones. That That's a record. We've never done five before. Perfect. Uh, someone go grab them. Ah, they're up. Never mind. Ortex already on the way to rescue them. Well, Eric, welcome to the team. Oh, I better set up your uh, work profile. With the completion of that column, it's time for Pika's Praetor Ceremony. This is so wrong. This means we're going to get five Neuralinks from this one, which... Yeah, this is, this is getting really into exploitative territory. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll just... Oh. How did you miss that spectacularly? Wow, that is... Just we'll give you one more go. Try not to miss so spectacularly. That was perfect. That was perfect. You can leave now. That is uh, absolutely perfect indeed. Uh, we've made sure that's outside of the home zone. Everyone can fix and repair everything outside of that. What's the temperature in here? 52. Perfect, perfect. All right, we'll have our, uh, our party in here in a minute. Up oh, Here they come. Lee fixes that up, and we will close the door behind them. Okay, <laughs> let's max out our second Psy-Focus wizard uh, up to level 6. While we wait for these people to fall over, we have a trade goods guy from the relationship of whatever, the, the friendly cities. They're actually a combat supplier. They don't really have that much worth buying, to be honest. This is kind of embarrassing for a combat supplier. Uh, no doomsdays, no decent weaponry, so we just sold them all the junk we had lying around and picked up a couple of recon helmets and some medicine, which are always great. Though, I should probably... Who's got an infection? You know what? Who cares? I think there's a few random guns lying around out here. We'll make this part of our home zone and we should be able to sell these all off. By putting all these guns in our home zone and all of this junk here, this is what we normally want to do in the future. By dragging all of those in there... We should be able to now see them in the trade menu when we trade with the trader and actually dump all that gunk on them. Now, we don't want any of this. We don't even want the money for it. We just want them off the map because they're scrap. There we go. Map's looking an awful lot cleaner now. That's what we kind of want to do after every raid is summon in one of these from one of our allies and then just clear out the map of all the gunk. It saves us having to cart stuff around. And shredding the stuff in here, it gives you some steel, but usually you're better off just mining veins. It's far faster and more efficient than the amount of carrying you'd have to do to actually utilize fallen weapons. After another successful meltdown, we have a whole bunch more Silent Neuroformers. And we've also, well, the Empire just absolutely loves us, which feels even worse because... <laughs> 
They consider us a 100% ally because we keep rescuing their people from the random heat strokes they get. Let's see what kind of upgrades Alex gets from these next two levels. And that still leaves us with three silent neuroformers left over and I'm not even sure what to do with them. Berserk? Uh, that just affects a single target. That's actually very useful. And Neuroquake. Yes, this... That will be very, very helpful. That will be very, 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 very helpful. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'll cut that out there for today. I know there's not that much action in this episode, but... It was really just a case of recovering from and stabilizing. We managed to stabilize, we managed to recover from that quest that gave us so many pawns. In fact, yeah, we've only got, what, 14 prisoners? Let 15? 15 prisoners. That is nothing. The only thing that's weirding me out is the traits we're getting are... Hmm. Let me just show you where colonists here and throw on their traits. Oh, and this always comes up. This is a mod. There's a mod that it's a traits add-on for numbers. It's, it's listed in the, the description. But if you look here, there's no one who's a pyromaniac. We have not hired a single pyromaniac. We have one person who's incapable of violence. And I think that's because we're just hiring pirates and tribals. That's pretty much all we've gotten. The only ones we've got that are odd are the ones out of the caskets. So that's why we don't have any non-violent pawns. And we're hiring so quickly, we don't have a chance to collect people from drop pods dropping out of the sky. Randy's, I think Randy's given us a couple of those, but that's it because we just hire everyone. I mean, look at the traits here you're seeing. You don't normally see this sort of loadout. Also, why has everyone got chemical fascination? There's so much of it. Oh wait, there's chemical interest and there's chemical fascination. I didn't right realize there was two. I I actually had them all rolled into one into my in my head. Looking at it, they both have the exact same flavor text. Um, but chemical interest versus chemical fascination. I'm going to assume fascination is way worse. Also, we've hired this person. <laughs> And they've already got smoke leaf dependency. I don't think we'll be able to break their smoke leaf dependency before they tuck into the supplies. Uh, smoking smoke leaf joint. Actually, we caught them just in the act, but there's no way I'm going to be able to stop them. I'd have to imprison them or cut off their legs, and I don't want to cut off their legs. That's just weird. <laughs> Plus, we, we don't have any bionics to give them, and we haven't researched bionics yet. In fact, research has slowed to a crawl. I'm going to have to check into that. But I think we've done quite well today. Five new recruits and we've got a whole bunch more ready to go. And the next organic attack that decides to stumble into our kill box. Yeah, well, I think we'll be able to handle the prisoners a little bit better. I think the next episode is going to be all about expanding. I want to sort of cut out across here and maybe seal in this area. We just want to annex this entire section. We're currently grinding up an awful lot of marble. So if we seal that in, that gives us several areas with good farmland. And I think we'll we'll have another fridge here, another couple of living quarter areas. I want to spread them out a bit. And we're also going to have to take care of the silly quantity of people we get who are greedy. We have one person who, well, three people who are jealous and two people who are greedy. So the greedy people, they want a proper bedroom. And the jealous people have to have a bedroom that's equal to or better than someone else. So uh, we need to give the greedy people impressive bedrooms just to cut out that annoying mood debuff it's like minus eight which we can't afford especially considering we can't keep them on fine meals forever we are literally eating our way through the map when it comes down to the animals anything that's left with like anything with a decent amount of meat we're killing it and eating it that's it there, there's so little left and as well as that we won't be able to keep that up forever because anytime the map gets emptied because of uh heat waves cold snaps toxic fallout that kind of stuff we'll lose all the animals again anyway I think we may have to raise chickens or cows just to maintain a solid supply of mm, fine meals. Mm, tricky, tricky. This is going to get more and more complicated as we go, but so far, so far, I think we're doing pretty well. Uh, oh, and I'm not sure what we what we want to do about these silinx. How many can we farm? I'm thinking like maybe one in ten. Have one out of every ten pawns can be can be uh, a wizard. That seems like a reasonable amount where it won't be too overpowered and won't be too micro intensive. Uh, just uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.